in the case of history, you can have somebody, uh, or there are people who have PhDs in history who publish academic works that have been vetted by academic presses. But it seems that many of these people you would still label as propagandists rather than historians and scholars. So I'm wondering how you distinguish the two, because from the outside, it does seem convenient that you can label somebody who cites different figures from you just a propagandist, even if they have similar credentials. Well, unlike people who are not historians, um, historians are supposed to know the texts and use them, the documents essentially, on which uh, historical reconstruction is founded. And um, 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 when you look at the, the texts by people like Finkelstein or Ilan Pape or others, you see such distortions of the material, uh, such misinterpretation of things which are clear and obvious in the documents uh, that you don't necessarily take them as serious historians. And this is what happens. Now, it's true that most people who are not historians can't differentiate. As you say, those guys cite things. These guys cite things. Who's right? How do you know? Well, maybe not everybody can know, but uh, people who are serious historians and know the materials and can go back uh, and look in the archives at the, the citations and at the original documents can see whether somebody's busy distorting it for propagandistic purposes. And this, unfortunately, I see in various um, um, uh, so-called historians who uh, preach the Arab side, people like Rashid Khalidi or people like Ilan Pape. Um, distortions of uh, the, the, the actual, what is actually said in the material, mistranslations of things.